I'm Troy Sage. And I'm Andrew Smith. And we have taken it outdoors, We have baby. gone outdoors, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful sunny day, so why not? Why not? You know, one of the things or one of the questions that, that comes up or some advice for agents out there is when do you actually list a short sale property? Right away. Right away? Yeah, immediately. Yeah, but you know, you've got half an now and you've got cooperative short sales and they want to predetermine the list price and get everything going along those lines, in which case you don't need an offer or in fact a listing to actually start moving on those properties. So why wouldn't you just wait until you have all of that worked out and, uh, and then list the property? Well, for me personally, on the business side, if I'm going to do a bunch of work up front and I'm building a relationship with the homeowner and I'm going to spend time as a business owner, time is money. So if, if, if I put myself at risk of not getting that listing, let's say their third cousin removed just got the real estate license, right? And they're going to they're gonna say, listen, I'd love to list with you and thanks for doing all this work. But um, our third cousin removed, we're going to let them list this property and give them a shot at starting their business. You know, and I know that absolutely happens. I had one about six months ago. Mm -hmm. um, I went in, we did the market analysis, we did all of the information, I provided them the list of all the documentation that they needed. They got all of that done, ready to go, and then they won't return phone calls. Yeah. Nothing will happen. I come to find out that their friend in San Diego is an agent and didn't have access to our local MLS, so they used my services to get all of the comparable information, everything that they needed, all the documents that were required, and then they went and listed it that way. So you bring up a great point. So from an agent's perspective, even though HAFA would love us to work you know, from the cooperative role and, and pre-approve that, from an agent's perspective, you're completely exposed if you have not taken care of that listing paperwork up front. Yeah, and, and, and because uh, the way the HAFA program is set up and even the, the cooperatives and, and uh, the, the standard short sales, uh, have to be sold by a licensed real estate agent or licensed right. broker. So if you're an agent out there and you're you're uh, selling short sales or you're soliciting the listing of a short sale, you may as well get that listing right right away. Uh, you know, when I'm talking to other agents, it's it's very similar to when I use my my hamburger shop uh, analogy. If you're going to open up a hamburger shop, you have to have the hamburger before you can actually make the patty and sell that hamburger. So you know, if you go to a listing appointment or you sit down with a homeowner. And you don't have that hamburger. They are the hamburger, let's say. You can't make the patty and you can't market that thing. What do you have? you got a, a vacant building and you don't have any income coming in. That's true. That's true. So it's really important right there for everyone to remember that our recommendation is that you should go ahead and list that property first. You can get all of the half of paperwork done, all of your RMAs and all of the other applications taken care of. Yeah, actually have the front. homeowner call in. You can still have them call yeah. in and do all that. There is an, an actual spot right on the application where it will say, is the property listed, and ask for that agent's name. So there's no problem at all in doing that. And to be honest with you, have you ever had a deal go half of it? You've listed up front, it's gone half of and they've come back and said your pricing's way off? I haven't, no. No. So the bottom line is the banks are looking for market value on their properties today. So if you're a you know a good agent in your area, you know your market, you know what's going on, you've run the comps, you have everything there. We've discussed pricing strategies in, in videos yep. before, and you're using those pricing strategies and you can justify that list price, there isn't really gonna be a problem when they send that BPO agent out to take care of uh, you know the the valuation they need of having a huge discrepancy. Right, and I and I really am a firm believer. There's no proof behind this, but I really am a firm believer that the more short sales you've done, the more successful short sales you've gotten negotiated, where it's win-win for both sides, you have a, a competitive uh, or a, an advantage as an agent, um, as opposed to someone that hasn't been very successful or, or what. I don't want to I don't want to start a whole riot on the internet here with this video. But, you know, with using Equator and having relationships with banks as agents, as you and I both do, we know what, what, what we can do. And when we contact these banks, they already know us at this point in right. time. And they're excited to want to work with us because they know that we're not trying to pull a fast one. Or, or uh, they also know that our package is going to be complete and right. we're going to work in a timely manner. So you have to keep those things in mind. This is a business. So if you're going to be in the business, then be in the business. Get the listing sell your hamburgers however you want to look at it but get all your stuff lined up and run your business exactly and you know we'd love to have feedback from any of you out there that are watching this uh, on what you do um, any challenges you've faced in that or if you've had problems on a, uh, a half a short sale or a cooperative short sale where values have been way off or anything like that again 
visit us at www.s2neg. Kind of got stuck there. Yeah, you did. S2... S2neg. <laughs> it's outside. Dot you know. com. <laughs> S2neg.com. Give us your feedback, pose your questions. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.